just got nine o'clock. We've just got Christmas Chronicles 2 on because I fell asleep on it last night. And I've just put Brandon's presents out. He's gone for a morning wee wee and then he's going to get mine out. So you probably won't see much. You'll probably just see the pan over and then we're going to chill out and watch the rest of the field before we go to his. So yes, Merry Christmas my lovely. Oh. You, someone wee weed on the snow. Naughty, woke up to yellow snow. Naughty, naughty, eh? Christmas cheer. You're thinking who's all there? Did you wee on the snow this morning? <laughs> Santa's been Mia. Christmas kisses. <laughs> ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Ah, kisses for everyone. Kisses for everyone! Brandon's you would have seen there the dogs as I say had a little bit of a disaster Mason we weed on the snow so there was yellow snow this morning and Mia ate a whole box of red lindors surprise she's not a little bit ill to say the least but Santa has been look thank goodness the hampers are still a thing look at this all of my essentials, people probably may think it's weird to buy all this stuff for Christmas, but it's stuff that I generally would use. So let's get in with opening the presents. The presents now, the first they've seen of you on Christmas morning. What are you going to go for first? Well, which ones are mine? Well, they're all yours. All of them ones, that side. Oh, that side. Oh, okay. All of them are yours. Oh, just let me, because this is from my friend. <laughs> Limited edition bottle, it's the festive yeah. edition. Oh, is it sparkly? Yeah. It's a black opium. <laughs> oh! Oh, brilliant. Oh, I'll have a laugh with this. Romish Ranganathan. Yeah. I like him, viewers. <sighs> he has a sense of humour. And then I am just chilling here and so because Mama G always opens her first. She's over there enjoying life. Yeah. I can't even remember half of these. I ended up from the other day. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's going to be like a staple every year now. No, because I've got a couple of small ones last year. Word search to keep the mind active. Do you realise what she's saying, <laughs> viewers? That I'm getting simple. What's oh, yeah, this? Yeah. Don't you dancing? Yeah. Oh. So I've booked it for the latest date available because obviously with the way Boris is going, it's in March. Oh, that'd be right. It'd be a bit warmer, wouldn't it? And it's Dominion, so it's back to a theatre that we know. Oh, that's up the steps and it's there, isn't it? Barbara Sarby. Oh. Are we... There's two there. Well, yeah, you're not going on your own, no, are you? but... Dad's give me one for my Christmas. Oh, and then I've bought oh, my one. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh we're, we're. And then, if we do get to Moulin Rouge next week, <laughs> there's a tube strike. It's <laughs> not next week, Shannon. No, it's the week following after. week. The 8th of January. Apparently from the 7th of January, there's going to be the biggest tube strike for that weekend. 
So I might have to do a diversion. <laughs> when is that? It's on a Saturday. Yeah, and the tube strike's starting on the Friday. <laughs> I was what like, of all the weekends. It? It's one we've not been to before. So I'm hoping we don't need the central line. Oh, it don't matter. Me and Brandon, you, when we went Winter Wonderland, me and Brandon, you we had planning to, for us, can't yeah, you? We yeah. just got out and had a half Thank hour's you. walk in the pouring rain. So yeah, that was one of your main ones. All right. No, that's from Dad, isn't it? Well, yeah, and Dad. And, well, no, that Dad's bought your ticket, yeah. and I've paid for my ticket. But that's that was from, from Dad. Dad. It's tickets to go and see Dirty yeah. Dancing at the Dominion. I did try to get Tina, but Tina is still through the roof. What about a pretty woman at the Savoy? That's How much? still through the roof. You're looking oh. about 160, 180. And I was like, no, that's but when much. they sent the Dominion tickets, they sent it in a Tina Turner album. And I was like, well, I can't give it to you in a Tina Turner album because you'll think we're going to see Tina Turner. So I had to get rid of the little brochure and just put them in like a little packet. So this one, Dirty Dancing, that's the new theatre. That's Dominion. Yeah. That's and our the original. Moulin Rouge is a new theatre that we haven't yet been to. Oh, but well, yeah, that was. Uh, I haven't got the tickets yet for that, have I? They're on my uh, phone. Right, They're an e-ticket. Right. So, yeah, that's her one from Dad. And then, obviously, I'll Thank pay you. for myself. Thank you, Steve. If he's watching it. <laughs> There's one I can't remember. It might actually be this one. Is it? To Mum, we have matching of these love shows. Oh, no, this ain't the thing. So, I've got a matching bookmark. Oh, yes. I'll, I'll... So, you can keep that. For all your new books. And I've got matching one as well. Right, oh, that's good, yeah. Because we have things together, don't we? Sally Morgan, viewers. We saw her, didn't we? Yeah. We saw uh, we the O2. Get, we was hoping she'd get in contact with my mum, <laughs> saying that there's a lady who's got no nose. <laughs> but... I think if you. you do your next one... Right. The red envelope. Right, OK, then. This one, Dad? No, this is from me. Oh, right. That was all your budget on that ticket from Dad. <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought that's why I bought Dad some more. I didn't want Dad spending too much. But this no. one's from me. You've probably missed the first page. Yeah. Oh my god! Marco Pierre White's London. Oh, the warmer month, so I'll be a slim by It expires then. in June, so we can book it maybe right. for an April, May. Oh, you just ring up and do it? I'll do it online. Right. A, a delicious three course lunch or dinner with a cocktail each. So with this. Still needs to use her book that I got when she was sixty. Yes, yes, I'll be getting into it. <laughs> she that. needs to get into. Oh, like, that's nice. Pronto. Thank you. But that's for a Ben. Pen. That's yeah. not just to write no, the other no. weekly shopping list. No. And that's a nice notebook. Th this is for the special when we go to Marco Pierre. But if he's there, I might get a picture, eh? <laughs> I don't think it's going to be. There. No, because I will say it's a special occasion, Marco. <laughs> Because he's the one with the black fluffy hair that wears that yeah. thing, isn't he? A bit like Gordon Ramsay, like. This is a very good Amazon find. Come on, time to retire your... Relive. Oh, relive your youth, right. Retire. It's relive. If I can get into it. Good laugh of that. Is 12 films of his? Oh, is it? <laughs> That's normal <laughs> wisdom. <laughs> so it's a little bit later. It's actually half one now. I've just gone on my Instagram <laughs> and seen everyone's Christmas dinners already, and I'm like, I haven't even got out of my pyjamas yet. I haven't even got the starter on. Our turkey ain't even on. We are going to have a very late one tonight, as I say, because Brandon's actually going to be at his tonight. So we haven't got a rush round and anything like that. So I don't think we're probably going to be having our starter till about gone three. We're going to watch the Queen's speech. 
and then we're just gonna have a late dinner so once the start comes out we will have our main meal but once the start comes out i was trying to think i haven't had a drink yet i promise <laughs> we need to put the turkey in that's going to take about two hours or so so then dinner will be like five or six ish and then yeah i'm going to as you can see in front of bath i kind of made a blooper because i didn't mean to put bubble bath in i meant to just have a plain one to wash my hair so i think i'm gonna have a bubble bath now and then i'll probably run the water later on to do my hair maybe like after we've had the starter and then i'll probably have another bubble bath tonight and i was gonna film my what i got for christmas today but i can't be bothered i think i'm gonna use the time to edit vlogmas which will be needing to be up for tomorrow and then we can film what i got for christmas tomorrow before i go to brandon's and i'll be up early i'll probably be up about eight ish tomorrow so i can get that done film it and then edit it while i'm here export it while i'm here and then just upload it at his for monday because all of his family is coming around from like two ish so yeah might be a bit of the camera out but if not well who knows you might see a bit of a tipsy sham but hey ho um yeah i'm very envious of everyone's uh roast christmas dinners that i can see and as i say thank you to everyone who has sent me a dm message commented anything like that wishing a merry christmas Merry Christmas to you all too. So yeah, I'm going to have like a little mini bubble bath. I only put a bit of gingerbread, Avon cream in, didn't go all out because I am holding out to use my Santa in his sleigh for tonight's bubble bath. But yeah, need to get some food on sharpish though. But hey ho, we'll have a bath and then see what we want to do, eh? So it's 20 past two now and we are just going to get the starters in so it's ready in time for three o'clock for old Queenie's speech. We've got... I thought she was going to drink it out of the bottle then. We've got the king prawn and scallop shells from Tesco. And also the salmon on crout Tesco finest. Oh, yeah, knock it back, mother. It's Christmas. Brown do need. Ugh. So, as I say, we're going to pop them in the oven now. How long do they take? Let me get the boxes. 30 minutes. So, they'll just be in time for old Queenie's speech. So, we need to get them in the oven. Well, Shannon, do they have to come out? Think. Have a look for me, please. Uh, ba -bang, ba -bang. Remove the sleeve and film it, they can just stay in there. Oh, what? Well. You just take the lid off. They'll have to go on the tray. So, we're going to have that, do some bre breakfast, do oh, some no. salad, and then we'll be eating next time. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. Without freezing, yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Now on ITV, a message from Her Majesty the Queen. Hello, Queenie. Oh, okay. Last year, got no many reviews, really. Let us know if you watched the Queen's speech at three. Ah, well done, Queenie. Starters demolished. Mum preferred. Get from a cushion. Mum preferred the seafood shell. That's like our staple every year. But I actually quite liked it. It was a salmon pastry parcel with mushroom stuffing, but mum didn't like the mushroom stuffing. The shells are nice though. I just wish they were like big. I think next year I want to go to a proper fishmonger and see if they can do like big ones. Almost the like a, was nice, almost it? like a fish pie in a shell, like proper meaty. We're gonna have breads and oils tonight because I said I don't want to have too much because we will fill ourselves up for dinner. And as I say, you would have seen by the huge slab of turkey that went in the oven, we have still got to go with that 
stuffing, Yorkshire puds. I'm going to make my batter up in a bit. Then we've got Brussels, parsnips. I'm doing a cauliflower cheese. Potato. Potatoes. Pigs in blankets. So I said we can have like the breads and oils tonight after the dessert if we're still thin. Because I'll be having a late one tonight. Did I'll you be get eating. cabbage? Oh yeah, I've got Savoy cabbage as well. No, we're not having all that veg then. <laughs> can I have parsnips. With the potatoes in with the meat. And, your and then you can put Brussels and kale in together. Or Brussels and Savoy cabbage. And, and then sweet. the cauliflower. Because yeah, we can't get a sweet. Oh no, we can't get a sweet. No. So we've got cauliflower cheese instead that I'm going to do. So yeah, I'm going to make the Yorkshire batter in a bit. Let that settle in the jug for a while. And then the stuffing we can just make and put in the Pyrex thing for whenever. And then chop the veg. Get that in. Then we've got gravy. It'll be a big dinner. And as I say, it's going to be a late night for me. Because I'm going to be editing the week before Vlogmas that you would see on Sunday. And then, yeah, tomorrow I'm up early doing my what I got for Christmas. Because I was going to do that today. But can't be bothered. School brandy. Brandy stinks absolutely Shannon. stinks no i don't like brandy Ugh. i think what i'm gonna do now though because the turkey it went in at three it needs to, it at four. yeah but i want to keep it in the tin for for like a good couple of hours so i might actually wash my hair in a minute because i didn't do it earlier and not put the bubbles in the bath so i think i wash my hair dry that get it plaited because i want it nice and wavy for tomorrow and then we'll just be prepping dinner so you'll probably see some like veg prep until we come back and have a mammoth task of a Christmas I'm dinner. I'm going to get refill viewers. See you in a bit. <laughs> Turkey. So now we're just going to put the roast peppers in and then put the parsnips and I might actually do the stuffing in stuffing balls because I tried to put them in the tray where the Yorkshire puddings were and yeah there's definitely no room for them there so let's put the teddies in first and then we've got parsnips Now to make some stuffy balls. This time, you're on top of my list. Only we and as we dead. So we have turkey, potatoes, parsnips, and what do you think of my stuffing balls, Mum? <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Most Tesco mini ones look small, didn't it? It said it was supposed to make yeah. 8 to 12 minis and I've just done four yeah, yeah. large stuffing dumplings because they wouldn't fit But otherwise. you know what that reminds me of? Haggis, I thought. No, no, the thing we could have, take them out, put a little egg in and a scotch egg. Mm. So this Shall I turn back... the potatoes around? Uh, leave them for the oh, minute. Okay. Fine. We'll do it for 20 minutes and then oh, we'll then. check on it. my lovelies let's pop you over there you're probably thinking 
Shannon Lee. Hair is all washed in a tight little plait and bun for tomorrow. Bailey's is here. Mama G has gone to watch Emmerdale because it's slightly later, it's just got seven o'clock. Um, for quite a late dinner to say the uh, least, but how good did that dinner look i mean i showed you on the uh, little pan over the stuffing balls are immense immense the um cauliflower cheese i kind of burn a little bit so it's all right you can definitely um tell where i've burnt it <laughs> yorkshire puddings always come out like an absolute mini man in parsnips potatoes the veg the turkey skin can you hear that nice crispy turkey skin and then a little piggling blanket the turkey cut like butter my lovelies oh my god it was so soft i'm gonna say if you've got any tips for cooking turkey let me know mm. like butter but the way that i do it so i put it in at just gone three i think and took it out just gone six to rest i wrap mine in foil for the first two hours cooking depending on the size like i'd probably say that maybe was one and a half kilos um coat in loads of butter and seasoning wrap it in foil i cooked it for two hours low on about 180 and then i cooked it for another hour on 190 with the potatoes and the parsnips and all of the yorkshires and that and I say the knife just cut through it perfectly so i'm going to sit here i've put the holiday on this is something that i hear a lot about and i've never seen it like holiday love actually i've never seen them so i thought you know what i know i need to watch my grinch or elf tonight that is definitely what i will be watching but i thought to now while mum's watching emma Dale, i'm going to try this and then i need to do some editing some serious editing because i need to get vlog myself for tomorrow so yeah gotta do that and i'm gonna have another bubble bath i done my hair earlier on but i want my christmas day bubble bath with my santa in his sleigh so yeah i'm gonna sit here stuff my face a bit more and then when will i see you either when i'm with mum running a bubble bath or doing some editing who knows my lovelies <laughs> oh my god my um belly is about six months pregnant now in size because your girl demolished that christmas dinner but now i'm in a food coma i couldn't even think right now of having dessert and bread and oils i literally feel like i could burst um how long am i through i'm um, an hour into the holiday oh it's actually a really good film i like the actors like jack black kate winslet cameron diaz very very good i do like the guy at the beginning i didn't tell her that he was getting engaged and then just sprung it upon her poor soul but i love the idea of like hair swapping reminds me of a tv program like where family swap how cool is that so i think mum's just washing up i am going to now waddle to the bath put in my santa and his sleigh oh mum's coughing and have a nice bath and then when i come out i think i'm going to take my lashes off and we're going to do a little bit of skincare before bed but i need to edit so i think bath edit and while it's exporting i can do some skincare i can watch the rest of my film call brandon and yeah but very productive i think but my goodness i am full thank goodness this top is a 3xl one
it's quite a bit later. Um, <laughs> done some editing, had my bubble bath. Editing the film, well, the video vlogmas took a lot longer than I thought. Um, it's now one o'clock in the morning. Great, and I've still got an hour of exporting. That's not even into YouTube yet. So fingers crossed, it is all gonna be ready for nine o'clock tomorrow. I'm gonna get up about half eight just to do the thumbnail. And if it is all exported, then I can just do the last bits of pop. So yeah, highly annoying. So I'm probably not gonna get sleep for about two ish. I need to be up for like half eight, so six and a half hours. Um didn't have too much to drink today, just had a couple of Baileys because I will be driving tomorrow to Brandon's and then I can have a good drink at his because I'll be walking back the next day. I think I will need the fresh air. So the film The Holiday, oh it's so good. I do highly recommend it and yeah it's probably going to be like a regular little chick flick you know. But yes yeah, so I thought I'd check in before, well I'm not going to bed yet but I'll probably end up dozing off and then waking up at probably 2 o'clock in the morning with the laptop blaring out won't I? So yes as I say I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and I shall see you tomorrow, well I'll see you in like 7 hours probably uh, for Boxing Day where I need to do a bit of filming, get some slap on and try and catch up with life. Eh? Good morning my lovelies, happy Boxing Day. We was cutting it fine, and this is such a terrible angle, ain't it? <laughs> um, we cut it very fine. I didn't end up going to bed till gone to 15 in the morning. I had to set alarms on my phone every half hour in case I fell asleep until it had actually exported. And then I woke up at half eight. Yes, I did. And um, it was on 99%. So I got all the thumbnail and all of that done. And it has just gone 9.05. And it's still checking restrictions. So I don't even know if it goes up whether any ads are going to show. Which is a little bit annoying because it's a long video. But hey ho, what can you do? So yes, <laughs> we got there. We got there in the end. Um, weather is terrible it is pouring down out there and has been all night so that's not great thank goodness i've got brandon's car because i don't think i'd be wanting to walk up there in the pouring rain you know so uh yeah we've got that i need to have a bath just to freshen up quickly and then i think i'm going to pop a little christmas dress on and get ready to film the what i got for christmas but i just thought i can't edit it fully because Brandon's family is going to his today and just in case I have any other presents so what I might do is get it all filmed edit it like up to as it was and then say for example if I get anything else I'll just do like a little snippet from Brandon's that I'll add in say at like the end of the video so I might do that and then I'm going to try and find all my books to do the book club get that done and then so she's got nine. I'm hoping to get to Brandon's for about one ish. So that gives me time to have a bath, get ready, film that video, film the other video, start to edit majority of that video, and then as I say, I'll just any other little bits, I'll give it to like maybe five or six o'clock, and then if there isn't anything else, I will start to export. Or if there is, I'll quickly pop upstairs and do a little, um, little, you know, like one of them when you see people they jump in and they're like, oh just me editing that's what i'll do i think for mine mama g is back in bed but she must have been up because when i got up the house was lovely and warm it's 20 degrees and as i say because it is raining out there it looks cold and miserable and dreary and i've got to go out and just start the car because she hasn't been started for a few days you know just to check that like she's still alive and that so yeah that is the plans let me know what you're up to boxing day and i shall see you hopefully when i look a bit more presentable so my lovelies i look a little bit more presentable and can we just appreciate i've got some big lashes on today they are 
the Tatty TL22s. So I'm just about to film my what I got for Christmas. And of course, I'm in my Christmas dress. So I need to get this film pronto. And then I don't think I'm going to have time for book club today. I'll just do that tomorrow once I'm back. Get that filmed. And then I'm going to go to Brandon's. And then I can edit. And then at least I'm ready for when everyone starts to arrive. But I don't quite know if I'm going to wear a Christmas dress to Brandon's. Or something else shit. So we'll have to see. But yes, we need to get on and film the what I got for Christmas. So that is the first just thing. trying on one of her Christmas presents. Her Anne Summers loungewear. Who would have thought that Anne Summers done loungewear? Me, you. <laughs> and then I am just in my Christmas dress. I've just finished filming the what I got for Christmas. And now I'm getting ready to go what to Brandon's. What size is this? I think it's 20 to 22. I've got extra large. Pl plenty of room, viewers. We don't want it like, it's loungewear, so you want it comfy. Oh, don't put that it's got a hood on it. <laughs> so I thought now she's got something to like pop around the house in instead of being in like jeans or whatever. I mean, you could go out in it. It don't look see-through, but... Uh, no, not not this size, Shannon. Oh. <laughs> Maybe when I'm a bit smaller. But yeah, because so... this I could wear my DMs or my new boots, couldn't I? Yeah. I love my loungewear, we all know that. But yes, as I say, mum is going to have a day in. She says she's going to sort out all the bills, do some like little bits of recycling. She's going to have a nice bath. So when she comes out and has a nice bath, she's going to put this on. Wash my hair. Wash her hair, have a good old pamper. And as I say, she's going to be having a day in and then I will be back tomorrow morning. And next year, viewers, I'm going to have my hair all cut off. Oh, don't forget to get the gammon out tonight. Oh, right. Good job you told me. The broth, the broth tomorrow. tomorrow. So tomorrow, when okay. I come back, I'll be doing some filming editing, but we'll go to Tesco. We've got... Uh, no, we'll have to get onions. Tomorrow's a normal day. Yeah, so we'll have oh, to right. get onions. I think I've got dumpling mix. Maybe some carrots. We'll have to see what we we'll need for the broth. Yeah. Maybe tonight, while you're here, just check. I'm sure we've got pearl barley in the cupboard. Oh, okay. Because we need that. So we're going to do a nice broth tomorrow. So but yes, get, that'll but be get a, the gammon out. Yeah. yeah I'll right. probably text her tonight just to remind her as well. So yes. See you later, viewers. Let's say, you won't see any more of her today. I don't know if you'll see any more of me today. Because as I say, it's Brandon's family. Don't really want to be getting the camera out. But yeah, we shall see how it goes. All right, let's say, I've just filmed what I got for Christmas. I was going to edit it, but I just thought, you know what? Tomorrow Tomorrow's Monday, so upload day is at 6 o'clock on Mondays. I was thinking it was 9am and it's not. So yeah, I'm going to have a little nice night off, well, afternoon off. Go and see Barbara, I think she's there already. I'm so, so excited. And then yeah, just have a nice boxing day. I think Mama G is also going to pop to Dada's after because he's got some food or whatever left over. So she'll spend her boxing day with him, then come back and she'll have a little pamper. And then yes, I am on my way to Brandon. So I shall see ya when I see you, my lovelies, all right?
let's put you up there. Feeling not too bad. Um, I had a slight headache this morning. Um, but the two mile walk back done me quite fine. And then on the last mile, it decided to rain. So that was great. Thank goodness I had my umbrella. Come back. I am not going to do any more filming today. I've decided I'm not in the frame of mind. I'm going to edit my what I got for Christmas and then just film the little insert because I got some presents off of Brandon's sister, fiance, and Baba. And then Mama G has just opened her presents from them also. She loves them very much. Thank you. And then we're just going to go and have a nice a little, I think it's about three quarters of a mile to our local Tesco. We're going to go down and get the bits for dinner which we're going to be doing a broth so that is actually all i'm going to be filming today the winter warmer which is going to be a broth but winter warmer's fine because i ain't got to have my makeup i can be hair up no makeup it could be a chilled video so today yeah i'm just going to edit i think i'm going to go through my presents and try and get like the cardboard and the recycling bits down and then like, because well, I've got no room to put them anywhere just yet, but yes. And then I had an email from Waterstone saying 50% of all hardbacks. I was like, result, because there was a few from the authors Lisa Jewell and Lisa Gardner that I wanted to get. But it's in store only. And I can't be bothered to go into my nearest town. Really can't be bothered. I would like it if Waterstone's done like a click and collect service. So that you actually know if it's in stock. Because the only thing is, you could go to the stores... But they might not be there and then it's a wasted journey so they don't offer that i'm going to ask mom to replat my hair so that it's nice for like when i actually do do some filming tomorrow because i've got a lot of filming to do tomorrow tomorrow i think i will have as my productive day i'm going to film the book club i'm going to film my have i reached my 2021 goals and then i'm going to do my goodbye 2021 and my hello 2022 and then i need to try and get out to home bargains because that is going to be my first haul of 2022 i mean it's rude not to ain't it? it's obviously got to be a home bargains haul but let's just see where the old bird is this is what i'm going to tesco's in don't worry i'm going to have my big coat so i'm not going to be offending anyone with the slogan and then where is mother look oh she's already got her parker on she's here so have you got a sore head this morning or you've been all right no i've been all right She's ate all my turkey though. No, there's two sausages there. Did you leave us any Yorkshire? Yeah, two. Still got. So I've got a little bit for a snack. So yeah, we're going to have a little mooch to. Where do I put that perfume? Oh, it's there. Silly, silly me. I'm going to give a quick spritz of perfume. The one that Brandon's brother got me. Very highly recommend DKMY Women. So we're going to have a mooch to Tesco, pick up what we need, and then I'll probably see you when we're back. I need a bath. You know when you just feel like you need to cleanse? That's me right now. So you probably wouldn't think it to look at me, but I've just got out of the bath, feeling very refreshed. As I say, mum has replatted my hair and I've just put it in the bun again. So what I need to do is tidy the bed, and then I'm going to start to take all of like the cardboard and everything like try and get some of the packaging done on this lot but first thing is first what's the time i don't know where is the time so it is 25 to 3 and i think it's time for a drinky poo, don't you? Oh, I've got a lovely little hair on the lens. Need to give that clean with me uh, camera kit. What do I fancy? I think I know what I want. Someone has already dived into them. Baby sham time. I love baby sham. Uh, last Christmas, I thought it was because of lockdown that I just overindulged in it, but actually, I loved it. And please look away if you don't like drinking from a bottle. But I can drink that like it's water, though. So I think what I'm going to do, why can one of my gin glasses show me Christmas Queen? I know it's a gin glass, 
but we're going to put some baby sham. Will it fit or will I need another bottle? It's a bit pathetic, ain't it? I think we need another bottle, my lovelies. Because that's the thing. There's not like a lot in there is there so i think the plan of action is now i've edited the what i got for christmas and i've done my little added bits so i look an absolute state in my dressing gown because i wanted to include the bits that brandon's sister fiance and bubba got me so that's in there that is exporting i just need to wait for that and then i can upload it into youtube when that's done i think i'll tackle the recycling like getting all the boxes and that down and then i don't know maybe just chill tonight I want to chill and then tomorrow I will be productive. But yes, chin chin, my lovelies. Oh, that's delightful. Oh, and I don't know if you would have seen, I don't know what footage I got. Tried my first snowball yesterday. Surprisingly liked it, let me tell you that. But yeah, that's two bottles of baby sham gone in one glass. Um, Mum did buy two packs, so we've got another five left. So that will do it for the rest of the day. And then I will be filming later the broth. So yeah, I won't show you too much of the broth because that will be a separate video that you will see before this vlogmas. But I'll show you the finished product because deliciosa. So, now I need to do the task of taking everything out of boxes and cardboard. Mum's just told me what I can and can't put in the recycling. All like the packaging and that, she said it's got to go in the black bags. And then it's literally just plastic and cardboard. Why do they always put... Oh. I just ripped the cellophane. So yes, as I say, the video, <laughs> it's on 6%. It's half three now. So I'm hoping that it will upload in two and a half hours, you know, because I was going to do it yesterday. And then I remembered, like, today is Monday. So normal uploads are four o'clock. Four o'clock, six o'clock. So I was like, don't need to worry about that. And as I say, good job I didn't because I weren't in the best of states yesterday to be filming after as i say you would have seen me in the wall i got for my christmas in um quite probably a sorry state for myself hair up as we speak as it is now um ow i also oh my god i went to put my converse on earlier when we had our walk to tesco <gasps> you know like when you put your hand into like pull your hand out once you get the heel almost like a handmade shoe horn i ripped the middle now and it split below the nail bed like and you know when it's like to the point ow then it started to bleed. So what I've done is I've just slathered loads of glue on it to try and hold it. Because I'm like, I cannot be dealing with that. I'm surprised this one, this is the fake one. That stayed on so well with Primark glue. So, yes, very happy with that. Oh, God. It's my little buff bombs. These are from Brandon's sister, fiance and baba. So, yeah, just now got to do the task of getting rid of all the packaging. But as I say, let me know, what did you do? on boxing day my lovelies how was your day and do you do anything on boxing day or the day after like food wise as i say i'm going to be doing a broth later on i'm going to probably apologize now for my appearance in that video because i want to try and keep the hair plaited because i want it wavy because i've got a lot of filming to do tomorrow but it is very like scraggly so i don't quite know how i'm gonna do it for the video but as i say we will get there i'm thinking that's another book brandon couldn't believe it like how many books i had when i showed him do i keep this in the box or i can just keep it in oh i'll just keep it in the packaging and we'll put the box in there put the box in there so yes as i say so fabulous saw babaloo yesterday oh my god she was so big she gets so big she absolutely loved like all the presents the wrapping paper she loved the wrapping paper more than the presents she just sat there and wanted to tear the wrapping paper and whenever anyone went to take it off of her she was not happy let me tell you she had a few like little screams she was fine when she saw brandon because obviously she ain't seen him for a little while and when he come in first she was like her eyes just would not leave him. And then when I put her on him and walked away to go get her presents, oh, she didn't like it. She started to cry and have like a little bit of a, like a little murmur. And Brandon was like, can you take her please? I don't think she's happy. I was like, she's absolutely fine. But you know what I might actually have while I'm doing this? Because I am starving. Oh, I shouldn't probably take this out of the box, should I? Because these sticks are loose. 
Oh, too late now. Me read diffuser. I might actually have some of Brandon's knickknacks that he got me. My uh, Christmas present. The first Christmas present I opened from him was a pack of knickknacks. I've already had them two bottles of baby sham in my glass. So I need to have a refill on that. Slightly getting pickish now. The broth will take two and a half, three hours. But I need to film it so it'll take a bit longer. I need to put the gammon on. Cook the gammon for say, a couple of hours in foil. And then take it out of the foil. Put the dumplings in. I'm actually going to put stuffing balls as well in mine. <gasps> Almost missed my mouth. If Dada's watching this, he's probably thinking, you do not put stuffing balls in a broth. But I'm putting a little twist on it. I'm also putting some parsnips. So as I say, the video would have been up before this. So it's the winter warmer, the broth edition, all right? But for now, I'm going to stuff my face and try and sort out the recycling bits, all right? Right, so recycling rubbish, we are getting there. Also, what is not getting there is tonight's upload. I do not know what is up with it, but it is about 20 past four now and it's only on 20%. I've got no idea what's going on. So if it's gonna be late, I'm gonna have to do another community post. So tomorrow, I need to film that book club video and edit it and get it up before I even start to film anything else because i don't know what's going on i think it's everyone's home like it's just having a meltdown with everyone but yeah i'm now gonna take the rubbish out to mama she's gonna i think she's just cleaning the bathroom and then try and put some bits and bobs in my room let's see how So the video got to 64% and then abandoned. I went on the live chat to Google support because they're the people like that troubleshoot you. She said, um, can't see anything outside as to why it's abandoned. I was like, so what am I supposed to do? And the little um, live chat lady, she said, uh, just cancel and re-download. So I was like, it's been <laughs> downloaded for several hours at the moment and only got to 64%. You now want me to restart it at 8 o'clock at night to be up within this day. And she said, oh, is there a time frame? And I just said, like, I'm doing, like, daily uploads and it will, I will really bug myself. Cool. Dada just checking in to see how the broth was. Um, I will really beat myself up if it does not get up today. I don't want it to go up though at say like midnight and then it doesn't get the views because obviously it's not going to be on there. So make sure you've got your bell turned on, your notification bell, just in case me um, uploads are a little bit haywire because tomorrow I'm going to be up at six o'clock like it's a normal work day. I will be getting up, having my bath, filming that book club video and getting that up and exporting for the rest of the day because i have no idea what's going on mum thinks it could be like maybe the internet's just a little bit slower because obviously everyone's at home now so i'm like great so yeah having a bit of a mare what are we now it's on four percent so i have done a little community tab post saying like do you want me to upload it whenever it uploads whatever the time or do you want perhaps two uploads tomorrow one at nine and then one at five so it may not be now that you get 44 daily uploads it may just be 44 uploads which really bugs me um fingers crossed it's up before midnight who knows but as i say come hello high water my lovelies you will have them 44 uploads i am not gonna beat myself up well i will beat myself up we all know i will um I will be like, Shannon, why did you not do that last night? The drinks could have waited, but the family was there. And this is what I mean. I just meh, need a drink. I get so aggravated with myself. 
so sorry I completely myself so I'm now just going to sit and eat my bowl of broth which you will see in the winter warmer this is a big hearty bowl of food which I need Mama G is in her room and I was like I need to watch the office the office is going to cheer me up she was like that's fine she was like yeah uploads late I was like yeah she was like okay she doesn't really understand much about tech but like when I say it's late she's like walk dogs it's not good so yeah I am going to <laughs> try and calm down I am looking forward to my bath though later when I show you because I've got the bath board out that Brandon got me for Christmas so yeah I'm going to try and make it as zen as I can and yeah sorry for the late upload what skin my love last year I thought of So the video is not getting uploaded. I'm so annoyed. It's like, what's the time? 20 to 12 now. It's only on 50%. Great, great, great. I must say that you would have seen the bath clips. How good does the bath board look that Brandon got me? Oh, love it. I was making full use of that uh, the wine glass stand. You would have seen I had a baby sham. I might have had another baby sham. And I might have got that baby sham by calling Mama G and pretending I was in a hotel getting bathroom service. Mum, yeah. would you like to tell the viewers, as you call them, about my bathing experience tonight? She doesn't think that the bath board is a good thing that Brandon's bought me. And I'm not to get used to... Uh... She rung me, viewers. Guess what for? <laughs> Mum, could you go and get me another baby sham, please? No, actually, my thing was I called and I was like, Hello, I'm in the main bathroom of room 7. Can I have a refill of baby sham, please? Hmm. What's she think? I'm a slave, viewers. 
So she doesn't think that the bath board's a good idea from Brandon. No. Because now I'm going to be used to every night when I come in from work. I've got to get her a bell. Yeah, I said I want a bell. Every night there will be something in that glass thing. Whether it's alcoholic or non-alcoholic, I want a glass now when I'm having my evening bath. But I'm sleeping. The video's not getting uploaded, which is fantastic because YouTube just abandoned my upload at 64%. And here we are at quarter to 12 and it's only on 50%. So... Tonight, well it should have been up tonight but it's not going to happen with that so it's not going to be 44 daily uploads it's going to be 44 uploads so it may be that tomorrow so tuesday well you would have known because the vlogmas would have been up but tuesday it may be that you get two uploads so yeah tomorrow i've got to be up at 6 a.m well i haven't but that's where my alarm's gonna go i might snooze it till like seven because I don't think I'm going to get bed till like quarter of one. And then, yeah, half of one. So I get up seven, eight o'clock latest. And then Brandon just called and he was like, do you want to upload at mine? Because obviously he's got really fast internet because him and his brother do gaming and that. And I was like, meh. I was like, do you know, because I'm so looking forward to some more broth for dinner. Oh, my Yum, 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 yum. So even if I do go to his, best believe your girl will be taking her Tupperware to do her broth at Brandon's because that is deliciosa. So I said, depending on how much I film tomorrow, I want to film Book Club, Edit the Winter Warmer, Goodbye 2021, Hello 2022. So, yeah, maybe four. See how I go on. And then I don't know whether to film. I've got two videos planned, you see, for the beginning of January. And I don't know whether to film them later or just wait till, like, next weekend. Because I'm thinking I'm going to chop my nails. This one, oh, my God. It's not even focusing, is in agony. I've split it again. I said this morning when I was trying to pull on my converse. Ouch. So I'm thinking after I've done all of like my filming for the end of the year, I need to make my new intro and outro. I want to change over like my bio and descriptions a little bit on the channel. Change the banner. Change, like, just for a new style. Because you know me, every two months I like to have a change. So we have January and Feb, March and April, May and June, June and July. August and September, October, no that's not right is it, January and February is one, March and April is one, May and June is one, July, August is one, god you can tell I've had a drink in it, September, October is one because it's autumn, um, November, December so yeah, I might actually tomorrow try and look into my new logos Make some banner art, try and look into the intros and outros, you know, like, be productive. And then, ooh, hey, hey, hey. Um, if I do, then I can chop my nails down. Because they are getting, not painful, but like, I'm worried if I catch them. So like, this one is the false one to start with. This one I've split now below the nail bed. And I just think, how much longer... Because they are quite long, aren't they, my lovelies? A lot of Brandon's family were saying, like, oh, my God, I love your nails. They're acrylics. I was like, no, they're my own. But, yeah, I didn't even say last night. So I can't remember what footage you would have seen. But last night, oh, it was such a good night. It was all together. Bubs was there. All of his uncles and aunts were there and cousins. They was playing some game like if you threw a ball and flinched. We had to take a shot. I weren't really paying attention because I was at the other end of the kitchen taking shots with his aunt. She knows who she is if she's watching this. Peach liqueur. Just, oh, my lovelies, we have this peach liqueur. It was originally from Lidl, I think, that Brandon's mum dad got it. And then we couldn't find it in Lidl. So I managed to find a, like, dupe for it in Sainsbury's. And it's peche de liqueur. So it's basically a peach liqueur. Oh, my God, if you shot that thing... 
It is so sweet, it doesn't even taste like a shot. We found a new little use for it last night, so we actually mixed it with Prosecco and orange juice, and then Prosecco and cranberry juice. Prosecco and orange juice basically made like a mimosa, and then mixing it with Prosecco and cranberry gave it like a little bit different. Oh, and what else did we have with cranberry? Cranberry, Prosecco, and triple sec. That gave you a bit like a... Like, we did shot the triple sec, and it was all right at first, and then you got the tartness of it. But, yeah, we was having our peche de liqueur. We had some Jägermeister. We had the triple sec. We had some apple sours. I'd had a couple of nice big wine glasses of Baileys. Had my first snowball. That was very enjoyable. And then had a bit of Prosecco and all of that jazz. So, yeah, it was a very eventful night. And I'd say, love it when all the family gets together because it's just like, you know, it's going to be a good night. It's going to be drinking and fun and laughter and music and all of that jazz. And then I went upstairs. I think it was about half a levish. Will up. Brandon put a video on his iPad. And we started to watch it. I think it was something to do with like Russell Howard. And then next thing you knew it, but we was KO'd, so yeah, you would have seen me the next morning. I didn't look I didn't look good this morning, did I, my lovelies? But yeah, as I say, I'm gonna stop waffling because there's no point in me trying to stay up because this video is not exporting. She says this now and then tomorrow I'm gonna be like, I didn't go back to like 3 a.m. Because I'm just I get really annoyed when the video is not freaking live, you know. But I say busy day, productive day, so I do need a good night's keep because I wasn't gonna be absolutely shattered tomorrow you know but oh yes i will clock out for tonight clock out well, yeah kind of clocking out ain't it and i shall see you in the morning all right but i say i've been quite good today i only had one two four bottles of baby sham it's not too bad is it didn't even have any mulled wine might take some mulled wine to brandon's as well have a little drink with me broth if i end up going tomorrow who knows, eh? No, no, my lovelies. Happy Tuesday. Well, you would have known that the video didn't get uploaded in time. Great. I went to bed, just gone one, and it was still on like 70, 80%. I was just like, your girl needs to sleep. I was up at 7. So the video, actually, I think it went live at like 7.15 a.m. So you're having two uploads today, which you would have seen. So, yes, I was up. Went and checked my credit card bill. I thought, that's strange. I've got a bit more money on there than I thought. They had, for some reason, my car insurance was due on Boxing Day. They took the money on Boxing Day and then it was refunded the next day. So when I went on to my policy, it was like, you are not covered. I was like, oh my God, can't speak to anyone because everywhere was closed at the moment. So I was like, great. So I had to remake the payment and mum said like just make sure that it has gone. So I've screenshotted where they took it and refunded it and then I've screenshotted where it's took it again. So fingers crossed that's all gone through fine. I'm going to try and call them and say once everything's back open and running because I don't know why it was refunded. It got taken and then it was refunded like hmm. Just put a bit of slap on my lovely and say I had a nice bath this morning. Done the payment for the insurance and then mama G bless her. She was like are you filming today? I was like yeah. She's like, what are you filming? I was like, book club, da da da. So she was like, I want to go into town. She said, so if you've got a list of books for the fifty percent off hardbacks for Waterstones, give them here and I'll see what I can get. So I was like, oh, thank you. So I know I got like what eight, nine books at Christmas, but I might be getting some more. And I've just gone through, lost a few books. Just been searching my room high and low to try and find the rest of the books. So there are nine books for the book club because obviously the last one covered me October, November and then December I just haven't read. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is, I don't know if it's to do a mulled wine. It is only 10 o'clock in the morning. But I want like a nice warm drink for when we do the book club. So I might just do like a coffee or a hot chocolate without the alcohol because yeah i need to be uh productive productive today sorry if the light keeps going in and out i'm in the kitchen natural daylight and all of that jazz so yeah um feeling a bit more productive i think i might be at brandon's tonight so i will get all of my filming done and then best believe your girl's going to be pushing in up some of her broth because your girl's going to be hungry 
So yeah, I'll be pushing up some broth if I go to his because that will be our dindins. And then tomorrow. So if I'm at his tonight, the plan is tomorrow to quickly pop to the bargain shops because when I have his car, it's got the bigger boot. So that may be a thing for tomorrow, but it all depends if he's got plans or anything or he needs the car. So we shall see. But yeah, I will be when you see the uh, book club video. Obviously, the hair will be done. It won't be like this. But I will be in my snoody because comfort is key, my lovelies, and we need to be comfy, don't we? So yes, thought I'd have a little check in and I'll probably see ya once I've done my first lot of filming. <laughs> off the list just realized i can't actually do my have i reached my 2021 goals video yet because i can't remember my 2021 goals and i got rid of the diary when mum was doing the christmas run so i need to now sit through last year's video and quickly make a note of what they were so that i can go back over them this year but yes book video is done um slight let down with waterstones I'm sure I will film mum when she gets back because she's not happy. So she went into town and the man said, oh, no, we haven't got them, like, in the business anymore. Mum was like, hmm? He's like, no, we don't do them in stock. They're like uh, old books. All of the books that I've asked for are, like, 20, 20 plus. So they're only a year or two old. He says, oh, yeah, but um, you can have them in paperback. And we all know I don't like paperback. So mum called and she said they don't have any because they're old books. And I was like... They're literally a year or two old. She was like, he says they don't have them in the business. So I was like, so why are they all in stock online then? Because online you don't have the promotion. Hmm. So yeah, she weren't happy. I said to her, why are you there? So it's not a wasted trip. Just pop into like Panland and get some little freezeable containers so that we can dish up the broth later. But yeah, not happy. So what I need to do now is grab just a pen and paper and re-watch last year's video and see how I got on and what the goals were so that I can try and do it for this one, eh? Ay, ay, ay. Yes, I have a Christmas jumper run. We may be over the Christmas season, but I'm not over the festivities, my lovelies. Um, right, I filmed my book club, that's fab. Went to do my, have I reached my 2021 goals, sat and rewatched the video and then found out that even though I don't have the diary, I'd actually tore the page out when I was going through some paperwork and have it. So I wasted about 40 minutes. Hmm. Not quite a time that I need to have wasted. And then I checked my schedule and actually it's not even going to be up until not tomorrow, the day after. So I've got tomorrow's video, which is the winter warm white. That's already done. Had a little bit of a jigger back. So I'm going to go off to Brandon's. What's the time now? It's quarter to one. So I'll probably leave here about one ish, get to his about half one. I'm going to have a nice little stroll up again. And then I can use him for his internet. Don't say I don't love ya. And then I can get the two videos uploaded so I can get tonight's uploaded. I've just got to pack my little bag and my brolly because mum said it's just slightly spitting. But hey ho, what's a little bit of rain? And then yeah, you will probably see me when I'm at his with the dog again. <gasps> I need to portion up my broth. Can't forget the food. So yeah, um, Mama G was not happy about Waterstones. I said to her, would she like to voice her opinion? She was like, no, she said, because I'm very annoyed. Because when I went on and I saw that you could actually get them all online, I was a bit like, so she was like, not happy, wasted journey, but she got some little tubs from uh, Panland and she got some cola bottles that we all know she absolutely loves. So yeah, I'm going to have a little moose in. You'll probably see us when I'm with the dogs, all right?
my business editing me and brandon have just watched the end of the witcher oh my god amazing and then someone decides to pop up didn't you and she doesn't like the laptop she always sits so as you can see you can see that she's directly on the laptop i can't do anything can i no i can't do anything when you're on there she likes to be like uh hello can you give me attention please and not the laptop hey eh? who the beautiful girl who the beautiful girl that's you ah mm. oh, thanks oh and you've just deleted something where you going i can hear the other one coming up the stairs now is he gonna stick his head in maybe so yes brandon has just gone in the bath i'm gonna edit the winter broth video and hopefully have that up in time and wait for my son please excuse the way i look oh is the other one <laughs> jay don't take his bone oh <laughs> my sir he just gets bullied bless him he's the littlest one now he's just like what am i supposed to do he gets very disorientated bless him are you in or are you out it's just a little wagging towel at the mini. <laughs> and Brandon just chucked me Capri Sun. So yes, I'm going to continue editing. Not got long left. And woohoo, the upload went up on time. Go Brandon. Morning, my lovelies. I'm back from a two mile walk. They decided to open the heavens when I got probably about a quarter of the way in. So thank goodness I had my big Mary Poppins umbrella and your girl is hungry. So we have got some sourdough bloomer left. So I'm going to have, oh, someone's arisen. Um, I'm going to cook the last of the pigs in blankets. And then my thinking is to do grilled cheese on toast, put the pigs in blankets in, Oh my god, that's going to be tasty. So yes, let's say today is what's the day today? Wednesday. It's a normal day. Called my car insurance because again, it was saying that my payment was overdue. So I had an automatic renewal on Boxing Day. The payment was taken, and then it was refunded the next day. So I was like, hmm. So I remade the payment yesterday. Called them this morning. They said there's still a payment overdue. So the man looked into it and he said, oh yeah, because it's not allocating against your account. And I said, never had any problems before on me renewal. I said, also the payment that I'd done yesterday was through like my online portal so it can go to the account. He said, yeah, it's just not going against the account. He's like, make the payment again. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Until that payment comes back on my statement that it's been refunded, I'm not making any more payments. And he said, I've got until... 9th of january otherwise my like insurance policy will be void but i said i've had no email notification nothing so if i hadn't have checked my card statement i would have got my bill in i think it's like the 25th it comes in seeing that it had been refunded called them and they would have said oh yeah your policy ended on the 9th because the payment wasn't made i said how many people he said like oh it looks like it's a system glitch and i said but i might not be the only one how many people out there may not be checking that card statements for that renewal just thinking it's automatically gone through and then actually it hasn't and you could end up be driving around with no insurance for the best part of a month so yeah i said you know i'm not happy i said like you've sent me nothing to say it hasn't gone through or it's been rejected i said and it's always me now calling you i was on the phone for 45 minutes yesterday trying to get through to them so this morning i called them like dead on nine o'clock just before i left bees so i was like hmm we need to get this sorted so he said i'll go until the night so i'm not going to rush about it now if i need to go out i'm still insured but yeah i'm not going to make any more payments until that's come back as fully refunded and then now i've got to call them to make the payment and ask for it to be binded or bound i think that's what he said so yes i am gonna do some i was gonna say dinner it's not even what's the time just gone 10. so where's the fixing blankets gonna do that just gonna literally come out the tin there we go we've got four left so that would be we can have two each in there as i say it's only thin slices the uh sourdough bloomer so they can go in the oven and then toast 
toast the bread. I actually don't know where to toast the bread. Because sourdough is quite dense. I might actually just leave it and just toast it very lightly under the grill. And then chop some cheese. And then after I've had that, I'm going to sit down, stuff my face, reply back to a few more comments, and then go and have a nice bath. Bath day. Oh my god. I'm going to have to do my nails beforehand. I've just gone to take my jeans off before I get in the bath. And the nail has fully snapped. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. See under there, my lovelies. You ready? That's not going to show you, but... I wonder if... Canon. See it bend in there? Yeah, it's fully snapped, so... I don't think I'm going to get any more filming out of this. And I am gutted because this has gone. It's snapped below the nail bed. So I know it's going to hurt when I've taken them off. I need to take my fake nail off of this one. So I think what I'm going to do while the bath is running, take all my gels off, cut them all down. I mean, I know I said I want them short for the new year, but I don't know if I want them that short. I might have to look at what ones... I've got to stick on and then I can see what I'm working with. But yeah, once I take this off, actually, don't fall, you're resting on the bath. Let's just see if I can take the gel off and show you. Yeah, that's a clean break. Oh, that's a clean break. So I don't know if you can see under there you see that yeah that's broke all the way off <sighs> ah oh my god and because i've obviously put nail glue on it to try and save it now it's not budging which is great people think right you'll see it now there you ready see that my lovelies so yeah, I'm going to try and uh, it's because it's gone right to the nail bed, it is killing, let me tell you, killing, oh my god, this is going to be so stuffy, so yeah, let me whack these off, I might get my false nails just to see what I'm working with when I cut them down if I've got one, because obviously, that one is going to be below the nail bed, which ain't going to look great for anyone. So I don't know whether I'm going to stick with like the stiletto or I might go for a square. Who knows? Let's run the bath and see what I can figure out. Maybe I'm not having this colour because I just pulled the lid out. Where's my brush? My brush ain't on it. <laughs> oh my goodness, what has happened? So I think my brush may have got stuck in there. So that's great. I need to, I can't buy this anymore either. It's sensational. So I think what I'm going to actually do before I even start, my top coat and base coat are actually running out. So I think I'm just going to quickly pop onto Miley and see if I can get a stock up of them and see if I can get one of them nails. Not the greatest because now I think what I'm going to do is do it with the Rimmel 60 second but then still put the top coat over it just so it gives it like a bit more of a hardened finish. But yeah, getting great already, ain't it, my lovelies? <laughs> So, as you would have seen there, this is filled now. This is plum 
tucker you just have to try and because there's little ridges in it just try and make it so it's like even both sides but you see that is my little christmas bracelet and as i say it is a bangle type so my other ones are the rope bracelets so they're a little bit more free let's just say but let's have a look can we still get it on this is probably where i find out i've got way too many charms on it and i actually can't get it on me oh no it's on let's have a look pandora pandora oh so hard i don't know if it's because i'm a lefty does anyone else just have problems getting pandora jewelry on i thought it was because i'm left-handed clearly not i might oh god the thing just spins around and then you try and hook it in i ain't gonna be able to do this am i oh hang on oh there we go oh i love it now i know people who don't like pandora bracelets filled and i'm not one of them people i absolutely love having my bracelets filled so as i say i've got brandon's one on at the moment i've got to hope it don't intertwine with that but yeah next winter you will definitely see me and that is like you see it's got everything and anything on it droplets beads the lot mama g has got a bracelet i got her into hers ow a few years back i think it was now and um i think hers is pretty much filled she's got the bangle type so this is the only bangle i have apart from the harry potter one which if you remember was what brandon got me last year he got me the harry potter pandora bangle and then he got me some charms from it's the shop within warner brothers oh my god my hair i do apologize put some dry shampoo in it because i thought i was going to be filming and obviously i'm not now um and then i have got bits and bobs like the pandora charms for harry potter like either in the sale or with birthday or christmas money so yeah absolutely love this so majority of the christmas one i've bought a few of them but they've been from like christmas money or mum and dad I don't think Brandon, no. So this is the one next year. If I don't, you can shout at me. But if you stick around till next year, my lovelies, this should be on my wrist from, what are we going to say? 1st of December. I should wear it for the month of December, shouldn't I? But yes, that is that done. And then as I say, I've had a little bit of, not a change around, but like a bit of a tidy, let's just say. So this all looks the same, but... You see, I've condensed the candles down and now I've got my little bookshelf unit, which, as I say, is not as large as I would like. I would obviously like a huge bookshelf unit, but to make do with the space that I have for the moment, and obviously I can't get to half of the things because of the Christmas tree and decorations. But once it's all gone and, oh, can you see I've got my uh, book night light just clipped to the bed, just ready there. I'm charging the smoothie maker that Brandon got me. And then me and mum are going to probably pop to Tesco sometime tomorrow and just get like some frozen fruit and some milk and just like have a little test with it, see how it goes. Oh, what's that? Oh, Hotel Chocolat. Don't miss these special offers. I can't eat any more chocolate. I can't eat any more chocolate so yes that is like a little update i've had today as a productive day i am going to write out my new year's goals because tomorrow i will be filming my have i reached my 2021 goals as i say i got rid of the diary but i actually found the piece of paper so i'd kept it in my drawer i mean let's lay it down because my arms are in i'd actually kept it in one of the drawers so thankfully i have that when i'm doing my have i reached my 2021 goal video and then tomorrow i need to film that edit that get that up asap that's why i'm going to be up early tomorrow to do that and then i'll be ready for the day you know and then i've got to do my goodbye 2021 hello 2022 and then i might film my 2022 goals video and there is one that i want to do um it was actually an idea of brandon's sister so i think i might possibly film that tomorrow kind of like another way of doing a tradition as such on the channel oh, um 
something that I can do every year and look back on. And she, when she said it, I was like, hmm, that actually sounds like a good little idea, you know. And I've just had a quick look over my goals for like, this year that I wrote last year. And <sighs> I've done some. I've done none. I've done good. I've done bad. Oh, I'll tell you what I do need to do as well tonight. Look into the gym membership. Because I think it was because I was looking to do it about two weeks ago. It was almost like one and a half months payments to be taken. So I was like, that's a lot of money. I don't want that coming from my bank. So I might see, like, now it's getting nearer the time. Whether... I can sign up and not pay an extortionate joining fee. So, yeah, might have a look into that as well. But I think for now, we're going to write out my 2022 goals. I can't do any more, like, tidying room-wise. I've done as much as I can do for the place that I can get to. And then might actually start editing Vlogmas the last week. Might start editing that and then it's not so much for Sunday. And then it gives me time to just chill, you know? And then tomorrow will be a productive day. You probably think, Sham, you said this and then you just palm it off. But I think tonight, as I say, because Brandon's not round, I can chill. I've done, like, the tidying. The back room's a lot clearer. And then do my goals for this year. So that's ready for the video tomorrow. Catch up, finish off all the comments. Um, I did try to do quite a few last night and then... <laughs> my god there were so many i felt so bad because some of it was like four or five days ago and i was like eh. so if you have left a comment on any recent video since christmas eve i will be getting back to you aka today or tomorrow because say there was a lot and i do like to respond to all of you because you take the time to watch it and i want to wish you all a merry merry christmas from your things even though it's belated do want to still wish you a merry christmas and yeah catch up on all the comments so shan stop procrastinating and then I think what I'll do as well, because I had a little ASOS delivery today. I didn't get much. I only got two things and then a set. That's come with the Crosley Entertainment Unit. So I might get that out later or I'll show you that tomorrow. And then I can have like a little play around on it and pop the vinyl on and we'll see how that goes. So yeah, if you like vinyl and retro tech, stick around because you'll be seeing a very, very great bit of equipment even if i do say so Dinner myself time. we've got bread lister extra mature cheddar and balsamic red onion mini flatbreads and a creamy chicken and chorizo pizza because this one can't have the lovely king prawn because she says it's too spicy it's not spicy it's not spicy and then oh would you look at that who's had one of my baby shams one you had that the other night. No, you sure have one? You know, I have had one, and that's this one. I think we might have to have a baby sham in a minute. Where's the scissors? Yes. I'll take one out the first one. Can't be having a bath now without my baby sham. No, I'm in a habit now. I've got that bath board. Let's <laughs> get it there. Could you undo the bottle for me, please? I will, one moment. And then I think we're going to have some breads and oils with this. I'm going to slice that sourdough again and get some garlic oil and balsamic vinegar before it goes no, rock I solid. Like well, you can have what you like, Mother. I like balsamic vinegar. Come on, we'll put you no, back no, into it. What are you no, doing? No, it's kind of not That's not. I saw a thing ping off the other day. Oh, uh, there you go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, my thing's charged. This is for the health smoothie. What, you're having a baby shame? Well, the health movie hasn't started there yet. Go. Let's go. Baby Sham. Ta. And then here we go. We'll have to get another eight of these when we go to Tesco tomorrow. Well, I was just thinking, uh, I had one. You had one. And then you had two. Yeah. And then you had one. Then you had one last night and one tonight. And we'll get some snowballs because I like snowballs. Oh, yeah. You said about you like snowballs, weren't it? Smash, hook smash. 
What did you think of the pigs in blanket and cheese toasty this morning? Very good. It was quite small though, wasn't it? it was I could have right. done with like four each. <laughs> have you told your viewers what you had for lunch? Yep, they would have seen KFC. I wanted my sausage roll that she got us yesterday and she's eaten it. And so I thought, I bet if I leave that, you won't want it. And I wanted it. I watched right my takeaway and he had it. So, yes. The bath has been run. I now have the baby sham so I can oh, go in the bath. Keep it on this, I don't do it. No, just put it. Um, well, no, because in it last time it stuck. Oh, which I'll, I'll keep try it and keep it on the thing just in case. Um, so now the bath is run, so I can get in the bath because my baby shams there. I'm just going to catch up on a bit of YouTube. This won't take long. This will take what? Let the oven heat up for a good 10 minutes and then it can go in for like 15, 20. So it gives us half an hour to have a bath. So yes, we shall see. Are you in with me tonight or are you in your room? Uh, I'll catch up with the soaps and I'll be in. See what's going on. Going in with the soaps. I'm going in the bath It's Wednesday now. today, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to go in the bath and have me baby sham. Thank you. It's quite a lot later, it's 20 past 11 now, and I've just binged the three episodes of Salisbury, Salisbury, Salisbury Poisoning. Oh my god! Well, I don't know how I didn't see it, I do know because I don't watch the news, but I never knew about this. Like, oh my god, and just when you think it was all cleared up, like the policeman was getting better, and then the lady and the man, I think it's from... I think it's to do with that bottle of perfume because he went rooting for it and then they said that there was a thing on the news that said they'd planted it in the perfume because her reaction was like almost instantly to it. Oh my god, so good. And then at the end you see all like the real life people in that. Oh, very, very interesting. We all know I love a bit of like spies and murder even though it's not murder but you know like crime related that was really good and the main geezer in it was i remember him from green street so it was a familiar face can and please tell me you've not been going in and out blurring us all this time ay 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 so yes if you want something it's not too long as i say it's what three hours it's three parts three episodes if you want something that's like just to get into and binge and it's not like too lengthy Highly recommend that, as I say, and if you remember seeing it on the news or anything like that, you're probably more aware of it than what I was. But, yes. Wow. Is all I can say? Wow. So, it's now 20 past 11. I'm going to get some sleep because tomorrow... Oh, I've set my alarm for 8. I'm not going to get up at 6 tomorrow. I've set my alarm for 8. I'll get up, have a quick bath, start filming for... 10 latest hopefully nine if i can between nine and ten i want to start filming the have i reached my 2021 goals and then once that's filmed edit that get that exported and uploading throughout the day for the six o'clock upload because hopefully it won't take over six hours to upload a thing and if one more person slams their car door in my street i think i'm gonna lose my shizzle why can people not just shut a door it seems like the whole of my street seem to think that their doors are falling off the hinges and just want to make sure it's still there because they slam it. And when they park on the verge, you know, like a um, raised curb, they just let the door slam in. Like it's 20 past 11 at night. Thank goodness I didn't have work tomorrow because I tell you what, I would probably be banging on that window. I don't get the need for it. Why are people just inconsiderate? I done my new year's resolution and i think one of them already i'm gonna find very hard to do but uh hmm we shall see so i'm gonna hit the sack now my lovelies mama g popped away did about an hour ago i was like we watch him i was like salisbury poisoning she was like oh she was like well i'm going to bed now i was like oh okay then still got brandon's bracelet on i'm getting used to having a bracelet like 24 7 you know and i've just realized this is such an unflattering angle for me but hey ho i shall see you all in the morning for a very productive day okay no that my lovely <laughs> Let's go.
go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine All done, just minus the hair But, what do we think of the lips? I've just put on the Revolution Elf little lip gloss That mum got me for Christmas And I kind of like it The lashes, I've still got my big tatties TL22s on because kind of obsessed and don't want to get rid of them but i do need to start vermoosing and getting ready and then let's get some filming so first thing is first have i reached my 2021 goals we're going to film that then i'm going to film my goodbye 2021 and then hello 2022 and i might even do my 2022 goals not entirely sure yet i need to try and figure out when i'm going to pop to home bargains because that is a haul that will be going up 9th, so the second Sunday of January. Because obviously the first Sunday will be our last vlogmas. <laughs> so yeah, I need to figure out when I'm getting down there to get that. And then we've got Primark coming. We've got some more bargain shops. And I think what I'm going to do is three uploads a week. And then the last weekend of every month. Because the last Sunday will be sit down with Shan, I'm going to do a bonus upload on the Saturday, which will be another haul. So three uploads a week, and then the last weekend of every month, there's going to be a double upload. Back to back, all right? So yes, that is the plan. Shan, stop rabbiting, and let's get in with some filming, shall we? So my lovelies, I've just finished filming the Have I Reached My 2021 Goals, and... Didn't do too bad. It is now quarter past 11, so I need to get this edited oh, pronto and then get it up. So hopefully we'll have six hours for it to export. Fingers crossed. Let's do this, Shan. Can do it. Someone is back from Tesco. Where is she? She's hiding around the corner. We've had our Tesco. Is it very raining? Wind? Yeah. Or is that the wind? Very warm, very warm. Oh. We've been, well I haven't been, Mama G's been to Tesco and we've got a little haul so let's show you what we've got shall we So Mum's got some rice because she's got a lentil curry out of the freezer to have for tonight And I've got a sausage and bean casserole that I've got out that I'm going to have with some mash She's picked up a new Pyrex dish She said it was 8 quid down to 4 if you had a club card so that is going to be a perfect new dish for lasagnas, pasta bakes, everything like that. And then good old baby sham, three quid. Now, someone please tell me why a snowball is so much more expensive. A fiver. Five pound, and that's double the percentage of alcohol thing. Hmm. She also managed to get, we all know how much we love these. If you saw the 24 hours eating Christmas food, oh my God, we love these. So she got another three packs, I think in some of the last ones there. And then we've got some bits for the smoothies because we're going to try and give that a go in the next few days. So we've got some vanilla organic yogurt. I think she said she got organic because it was on an offer. Don't normally have organic. Then we've just got some strawberries, kiwis, bananas, got some milk and frozen mango chunks and then I've got two sets of stuffing mix because I am going to try with the sausage meat that we have and do some stuffing because everyone has sent in their recommendations and they all sound delicious and then she's got some bread and I did really want the tub and then I said to mum maybe get like a huge bag but then I thought going into the new year mum said like are you not going to try and curb it so I was like well get the mini packs and then i'll just have to limit myself to one pack and not like a huge share bag aka a shannon bag so yeah i have charged up the little juicer so i think we might give that a go will i do it later on might give it a go because i'm going to film me hello 2022 video so i could perhaps film it it is raining she said it's just windy it's absolutely chucking it down out there Oh, yeah, yeah, I hope the weather gets a bit better for the new year. And, yeah, so I'm going to put this away. I've got to put the mango in the freezer. I don't want that to frost in. And, yeah, I've got a new little dish and the snowballs. Hmm. A little bit pricey, if you do say so myself. Well, I do say so because I've just said it. And then, as I say, I'm going to do a bit more filming. I've just finished um, editing the 2021 Have I Reached the Goals. That is now exporting. It's telling me two hours to export. This is ridiculous, I tell you absolutely ridiculous i don't know what's going on with my laptop that's not even with it getting into youtube so it's only 
37 minutes so i'm hoping when it goes into youtube it won't be that long but what i think i might do now quickly do the thumbnail for it and then i can just that's all done i don't got to worry about that and then i can get on with a few other filming and then i can just edit it as i go see how we go eh but yeah love my top who remembers this this was what i got from river island in the south oh and then i'll also show you my asos bits and the crosley unit Stay tuned. right this is either a great idea or a terrible idea i've just found i've got some more salad to use up so i don't want to let it go to waste we've got some cucumber and we've got some spring onions from christmas star got me balsamic dressing so i thought we had some tuna which we haven't so i just said to mum can i crumble some sausage meat into a pan and then have like almost little mini sausages like a sausage salad probably very contradicting like sausage and then salad but we're gonna see how it goes so i'm not gonna film it just yet because i feel like i'm gonna get a little bit flustered let me try and sort out what on earth i'm gonna do with the sausage meat and then i'll show you hopefully when it's in a pan and we're gonna have a tasty little salad with some of that balsamic fig glaze because if you know from the vlogging series i have been addicted to that cannot wait to get back to home sets and tk maxx to get a few more bottles and get some new flavors so yeah fingers crossed it works we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir performing all the christmas songs that we love yeah all the christmas songs that we love and then while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. So, my lovely, as I say, the video is just not exporting. Fabulous. I'm hoping it don't take as long in YouTube, but I thought what I'm going to do is say, use my salad. I ended up doing them as like little mini sausage meatballs. So, very, very looking forward to that. Mum was like, oh my god, what have you doused it in? It's that thick balsamic glaze from TK Maxx Home Sense, whichever one it is. So, let's give a first impression, shall we? I mean, who says you can't have sausage in a salad? Let's have a little got a bit of sausage. Let's get a bit of lettuce. We've got some onion. Yummy. Oh, I need to get some more of that dressing because if I can have that dressing on every salad, I won't mind about having to eat so much salad. Wow. Sausage meatballs are cute. Where's a little bit? Yum, yum, yum. So, all right, I'm just going to go through my watch list and catch up a little bit on some youtube and as i say this salad is going to be absolutely demolished not just because it's got sausage on it this dressing mm. next time i go to kmax and home sense i need to stock up so my lovelies i'm not going to rabbit on much longer we're going to have a little catch up on youtube and then we shall see when this is exported i'll pop it into iMovie and then i can do my thumbnail and start to get ready for the other bit of filming the lipstick's gonna come off in it always does when we eat right my lovelies goodbye 2021 is filmed i was gonna film my 2022 goals and hello 2022 now but i thought there's no point we're gonna wave the hair and have a bit of a pamper so i'm gonna do that tomorrow what i thought i could do in the meantime you might remember me saying that i used to collect a lot of magazines like cookery magazines and when i say a lot like a lot so i've been going through them and taking out the pages of the recipes that i actually like there is still a lot and then what i'm going to try and do is like put them i don't know in some form of like a scrapbook or a container and then i literally might just do like a random pick out the hat one night when i'm busy when i'm bored to see what i fancy because 
in the little book section, I've got the James Patisserie one. That's all bakery. And then I've got my Pinch and Nom comfort food. I want to try and get the rest of my Pinch and Noms out. But until I uh, de-use, well, declutter some of my candles, I've still got quite a lot there to use. If I can have another section for, say, cookery books, then I can get all my cookery books out and I'll be more inclined to try bits and bobs. But for now, I've just got my Pinch of Nom comfort food. So I thought what I'll do is go through, because I've still got quite a lot to go through, you know, and see what takes my fancy. And as I say, some of them, I don't know why I bought them, because none of them had recipes that I liked. But some of them, I think, oh, but these are expensive. These were like two two fifty back in the day. That must have been what I was using all my uh, little... That looks nice. Oh. So this one has garlicky feta pies, herby sausage and sun blush tomato pies, and chicken and mushroom pot pies. So now, I know a lot of you were saying that I'd never really do pies in my weekly food vlogs. So that could be something, because that's literally just putting it on the top. Oh, and the back of it is a hearty soup one, so I literally just tear it out. And put it on there so i'm going to work my way through this because i say there is quite a lot quite a lot indeed and then see where we go i want to get all of these done tonight because it's rubbish day tomorrow so then mum can like put out with the rubbish and then i also need to go through my big cd collection for the car i've got like one of them ones that holds like 20 odd cds so i want to get that all in there cut like the little things that tells you the tra track listing cut the thing that tells you the track list and put it in there so yeah gonna be a little bit productive seeing as i'm not doing anything else now <laughs> so i've done all my cds you're probably thinking shan who even has this but these are like just ones that i used to burn when i was younger ones that you used to get from the papers and then some from albums that it just takes up clutter having the albums so I just put them in here with the little cards and I've got a good selection. I know we have like Spotify and Deezer and all of that jazz. But for me, when I'm on a road trip, I like to have a good CD. So as I say, the uh, log cabin is a very, very long away in February. It's like six, six and a half hours. So best believe I'm going to be having my CDs. I'm now going to take my slap off. So we're going to have a nice little bit of skincare. And then I think I'm going to derma plan my face before I wash my hair, wash my hair, style my hair, and then we can do a good bit of skincare tonight. And the video's on par. It's going to take an hour and a half left, so we should be up for six o'clock. Fingers crossed. Well done, I look a bit different. Um, I've literally just quickly took the bulk of it off with the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Followed with some micellar water because thank goodness I got a couple of stock ups and I found I had a new cloth. It's just like a flannel, but yeah, it's gonna get rancid, ain't it? Um, when I went through and put all the bits away in my Alex drawers, I got rid of like all my old stained ones. But I said I'm gonna keep a look at if I can get the like oblong ones, which I think are like home bargains or BM. So that's gonna be something that I'm gonna try and get in the new year, but for now. I'm going to derma plan my face, I think, and then we're going to run a bath, do my hair, and then I'll have like a proper bubble bath tonight. So I'll do my hair, style it, or will I have a bubble bath first? I might run a bubble bath, and then, oh, I don't know, because I like to get in the bath to do my hair. So I'm not entirely sure which way I'm going to do it just yet, but I know that before I go to bed tonight, I'll do like a full new skincare. I might try some of my new bits because I've got all the little elements bits that I'm so excited to use. But for now, I'm going to derma plain at my face, derma plain, derma plain, however you say it. So if this isn't a bit of you, skip forward about half hour, half hour. <laughs> 30 seconds I mean oh my goodness but yeah I'm just gonna quickly derma plane my face derma plane derma plan however you say it and we shall see how we get on eh as I say by no means shape or form am I a professional at this it's just what I've picked up over YouTube and what I think works best 
for me as i say if you do like the idea of this but you want to get it done like a professionally i'm sure like you can go to the salons and clinics everything like that to do it but this is just what i found works best for me and then i think i'm gonna leave the skin to breathe for the evening and then tomorrow morning the last step of my pampering will be to do my eyebrows but if you remember on the last get ready with me like when i had a full pamper i derma planned my face and then put v on my eyebrows kind of give myself third degree burns so we're just uh we're not going to do that again are we shannon lee nope but as i say i just go downward motion i don't even know if i do the right motion i know you're supposed to pull the skin tight and then i just always go down oh i've got a little spot on there which is annoying but yeah let me know if you do this yourself or if you've had it done professionally i would like to have it done professionally but i think it's very expensive isn't it let me know what are your plans for new year's eve are you doing anything are you going out anywhere nice or is it just going to be a chilled one indoors? I think, oh god, it's all going on with dressing gown. I think mine would just be a chilled one indoors. I don't know if I'm here yet or if I'm at Brandon's, but who knows. I don't really do much for New Year's. I'd love to be one of the people that like go up London and love life. But to be honest, I'm hardly ever even up for New Year. I'm just like... Woohoo, let's go with it, you know? And then I might go to sleep and then you hear the fireworks. Me and Brandon will just be like, Happy New Year, and then roll over and go to bed. What an exciting life I lead, eh? So, just have a look, any last little bits? It is normal, I think, for your skin to go a little bit red and flare up, because obviously... You're taking off the peach fuzz. But what I am going to do is on the clean side of the flannel, just put a little micellar water just to go over it. Just a little tad. And so when I first done this, I was like, oh, my skin went bright red. Because obviously, like, all the blood is rushing. Oh, I'm just really just sneezing. All the blood is, like, rushing to the surface so that is normal but i mean it emphasizes the huge spot on my nose i need to get this gone might put a little himalayan charcoal mask on tonight might do that we'll have like a full pamper before the new year right eh? let's say it's new year's eve eve today but who says you can't get in the spirit and take a few days to preempt you know I'd rather do little bits and bobs along the days and then not, oh, my hair's just unraveled, and then not have to worry about it all last minute. I'm getting food in my tummy i'm just doing the boring task my lovelies of exporting some footage but i cannot move for the life of me because that portion has filled that bowl and if i move that is going on my bed so back in my calvin klein had a lovely refreshing bath i was actually doing some diary planning as well so I might go into that a little bit later, show you what I started to plan in for the diary because yes, I am that person who's already planning 2020 away. Oh, would you look at that? That's all uh, exported over so I can free up some more memory because I've got a lot of footage to download tonight. So I think while that's uh, cleared out, I can then add all the new footage. But let's just uh, eject that because if you don't eject it properly, then it corrupts and you don't want to be losing your footage do you i need to actually do a transfer from the baby hard drive to the big hard drive as well but it is now quarter to seven mama g has just popped to see our neighbor so i think what am i going to put on netflix don't know i just want something like light-hearted while i'm eating dinner because oh and i'd say light-hearted and then it comes on number five in the uk in 1970s nyc the torso killer 
praise what was it the torso killer preys on women to fulfill his grotesque fantasies while eluding the police a docuseries dives into the crime's darkest places well it's only a three part right i'm gonna add that to my list but i think that's a bit heavy for the minute i mean i watched poisoning last night don't fancy watching that i might just carry on watching a bit of friends quite enjoy a bit of friends and then i think i want to watch a film tonight i might watch the unforgivable or is it bruised bruises with Halle berry so i'm going to tuck into this before it gets cold not that it'll be getting cold anytime soon because it's absolutely steaming hot and then we'll get into like a little film tonight and yeah i'll probably show you mama g she ain't been in the vlog today has she not really so yeah we'll have a little catch up with her as well so the dinner was delicious and mum just said we might have to eat some of the cheesecake squares because it's rubbish day and they might be going out of date so your girl is gonna have some cheesecake squares later um i was gonna open my bailey's yule log but i'm gonna save that i think well i'm going on my health kick in the new year ain't i no i'm not i said middle of jan didn't i can't be going on a health kit when I've got all this food in the house but I've just ended up watching a bit of The Office it is quarter to eight now I was going to start that three part but I think it could be a bit dark so I think I'm going to wait till eight finish off a few bits and then I'm going to watch The Unforgivable with Sandra Bullock in. so I watched that but I thought I would show you how I'm getting on with my diary as I say I find it very calming when planning and it is going to sound very ocd but i've got like bits already in here until third week of january so i like to be uh organized for example so let's just show you the band so as you can see it's all color coded as usual with my little bits and bobs in there and then that's just my uh, setup for the moment so yeah i have been uh doing uh, some organization oh my god what am i doing i've just pressed a button um organization is going well i do like to do color coding and say so youtube bits have always been in blue and brandon's pen that he got me the parker pen for christmas i thought was black ink but it's blue so it's good because then i can use his pen every day because every day has something to do with youtube in my um daily plans so youtube instagram and just going through like what I need to film. The only thing I think I'm going to struggle with is <sighs> the first haul of the year, Home Bargains. Because that is due to go up Sunday the 9th. But obviously we might be at the show on Saturday the 8th. So I'm going to have to, I think, film that in the week maybe. Or if I can get to Home Bargains, say before I go back to work and then maybe film it on the Monday not entirely sure yet and then in amongst that we need to like de Christmas fire the house um that's gonna be a task and a half because I normally like to buy all the stuff for my hauls all in one go so then I haven't got to go out shopping again but I can't do that just yet because if I do that now then everything for this month would have Christmas decorations in and obviously you'll probably see a second to third week the vlog when it'll all come down so I'm gonna have to do it like week by week and wing it this month and then say come February once everything's back to normal I can just go out one week of the month bulk buy all of my hauls and then I'm done and dusted and then what I like to do is film the hauls all in one weekend so I normally buy them one weekend and then film them all the next and then I can just edit them as a way before they go up so you know i don't know at all what to do with that january i'm just gonna have to wing it i should see but yes so tomorrow i'm looking forward to actually trying my hair with that mermaid way but i think it's gonna be quite good but my nails are really annoying me i don't like the short vibe at all let me just tell you that um don't like it nope I miss my long nails already but i'm quite lucky they um grow fairly quickly oh you can't even see us there they grow fairly quickly it's normally about i'll say by the end of feb when me and brandon go away to the log cabin they'll be like regular size or like long size for me so yeah not too bad 
but I am now going to round off my organisation. It's almost 10 to. And then 8 o'clock, set up the film, get comfy, get in bed. I've already got the Christmas tree on. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, there she is. I'm going to miss her when she goes. The only good thing about when she goes is I can get back to my units. Because I haven't been able to get into my units for a while. And I haven't been able to change up my perfumes. But apart from that, I'm very, very happy. I might even edit tomorrow's video before I go to bed. Because it's only a short one. It's just my goodbye 2021. Might do that as well. But yeah. Still got a little bit of Bailey's left, so I'll be uh, having some of that and then might be having some cheesecake. So, yes, happy what day of the week? Thursday. Don't just hate them days between Christmas and New Year. You're like, away with the fairies, eh? I didn't end out last night i watched the film unforgivable and oh, oh my god it was so so good i would definitely highly recommend that watch such a good little storyline i thought it's new year's eve we still need to carry on with the pampering totally forgot about my eyebrows didn't i so i thought i've just run the bath to do my hair so i thought while well, that's calling dan i can get a little bit of a pamper on and get me uh, eyebrows done just gonna also oh normally i do beat them as well to shape them but can't be bothered with that also gone out and to see my car dented the back bumper ain't that fabulous because as i say the parking now because someone wants to come off their drive and do a party do and not just reverse or drive off of their drive people are starting to park extremely close to my car because he's basically told people that they can't park in one spot when people have been parking there for decades so yes you can definitely park in that spot so people are now parking behind me and i've got a lovely dent in the back of my car so i've just rolled the car forward and i've just texted the person whose car it is because they actually live in the close as well and we get on with them so i weren't too arsy for like 10 o'clock in the morning but I just said like would you mind when you come in maybe not going back until you feel my car and then <laughs> that's when you stop because now there's a little dent in us so that's great so when i was looking around the back of the car i'm gonna look so weird in a moment and um, when i was looking around the back of the car the missus just decided to stand at the stable door and just like stand with her back to it thinking I can't see her when she's in a bright pink dressing gown, you know, and uh, just stand there and stare. So I made it quite known that my car keeps getting damaged because they want to have a whole party de shaban. Then I'm not going to be happy. And that I was also oh, still waiting for the missus to come out and grow a pair because I'm still waiting to have my little showdown with her from when she wanted to flip her lid with mother so until now she has been doing everything she can to not be within uh, my vicinity yes i do look crazy i'm going to leave this on for about five minutes nothing more nothing less because last time oh my god last time i left it on and completely forgot about it so we're gonna have a little five minute chat yes i do look absolutely terrible oh my god they look bad today's video is uploading and so it's only the little short sweet uh goodbye 2021 so yeah my new year's resolution one of them for 2022 was not to get hit up but i think as long as i don't get hit up say at work and outside of here in my street i will still get hit up if my car's getting damaged if people want to take the mic i'm still going to get hit up like imagine if i went out now with my eyebrows like this she would probably think what on earth is happening to that girl but yeah so that's not great not exactly what i want to see on new year's eve a nice little dent in the car i mean she is an old little car but she's still my little bug and i say the few scratches on her are actually not my fault so i've been very good with the car for eight years 
oh my god eight years i've been driving nine years next year i've been driving and the odd little dent and scratch in it has actually been for other persons not of my doing so it's just annoying when like you try and keep things nice and then they don't they don't end up i can't even take myself seriously with these eyebrows if you have just clicked onto this and you think what on earth is that girl's eyebrows i'm tinting them all right we're just gonna try and go with it and have a little bit of a i was gonna say monday morning prep it's not monday oh my god so today is friday new year's eve i'm back to work tuesday oh my god think of me tuesday the fourth i'm gonna be so so tired and so like make sure i charge me uh marshall headphones up so i don't have to deal with the office nonsense but yeah we have been invited to a party tonight me and brandon one of his friends and part of me is like yeah we'll go like we ain't seen him for ages and then part of me is like i just can't be bothered i just absolutely can't be bothered i would rather be in let's take this off because definitely don't want it staining too long i would rather be in with a takeaway in my gym jams i say we don't even normally stay up till 12 so it makes no difference to me to be perfectly honest all oh, right let's give these a little bit of a this is where it goes terribly wrong and i think oh my god i've left it on for way too long they ain't turns out too bad they're not too dark just gives us a little bit more of a definition she says as she looks like this so i'm not going to get in the bath to do my hair i think i'm just going to lean over and do it today because to be honest i really can't be bothered cannot be bothered in the slightest so i'm hungry when am i not hungry i'm gonna quickly go and wash my hair dry it and then we can give out the mark heel i think i'm gonna go Oh, I don't know, mermaid wave or the curl? I'm thinking mermaid wave because it's going to just be like crimping, so it's going to be easier and quicker for me. But who knows? We'll see when I've got freshly washed hair. All right, my lovelies. So we're on the floor now, my lovelies. Hair is washed, all clean. And I thought, you know what? Gonna have a change of plan again. I want to film my Hello 2022 video. I'm natural. I'm gonna go and do one of my smoothies. We're gonna have a first attempt of a smoothie online and just do the video plain jane how i want to go into 2022 like zen all the good vibes you know and then we can style the hair do the makeup and everything like that because say i still don't know whether i want to go out to the party i'm a bit like Meh. brandon's not the most sociable and to be honest neither am i to be perfectly honest so i thought you know what we'll do a little bit of skincare actually we're gonna do quite a lot of skincare i'm gonna start off with doing a little bit of a clay mask on my nose and then we're gonna have some eye patches but first of all i need to exfoliate my face so i'm just simply going in with my little good old super drug exfoliating pads we know how much i love these and i thought while my eye masks and uh, face mask is all working we can go through my little bits from amazon mama g has put the crosley unit away i do apologize but i will insert a little photo of it here for what it looks like on the website and as i say just stay tuned for like vlogs coming up after christmas because once the back room is decluttered then we might be able to get it back out you know also after watching the film last night i went on home bargains online home bargains online is pretty much like furniture and buying bits in bulk so your girl may have bought some bits not a lot i bought something that i already have but i wanted a new style of it i'm just going to put on these target dark circles a gel eye patches i think i got these from home bargains or b&m one of the uh shops what's it say leave on for oh that's all right so um i may have put something else as i say that i've had well i've got but it's another one that i wanted to see oh these look fancy and then i also managed to order well i ordered four i don't know if i need four if not then i can return them how do you even open these oh hang on oh my goodness houston we have a problem oh 
Oh God. Right, that is very muscle fired. Jeez Louise. Oh my God, that's an arm workout just to try and get the eye patches out. Very wet. And I never know with eye patches, is it fat to thin? Oh, they feel nice. Oh! Wow, they feel very, very nice. So it says to leave on for 15 to 20 minutes. Let's put my uh, little nose thing. I'm using the Skin Clearing Clay Mask from Body Shop. As I say, this is a regular favourite. Cannot get this on my dressing gown. And I've just got my little Body Shop brush. Oh, let's have a look. Just want to like detox my nose a little bit, you know, my lovelies. I tried to find my um, poor cleansing strips, but I can't open the jaw properly because of the Christmas tree. So we just got to kind of go with it and use what we've got. Should I do a bit of my T-zone? We'll just do a little bit there because, say, we've just done the eyebrows. There we go. Oh my god, don't I look a sight for sore eyes? I can see you now. So yeah, I don't quite know if we're gonna go out. That is considerably lower. Oh my god, that's like on my cheek. There we go. Oh now it's predominantly on my eye. God, who says that pampering's easy, eh? There we go, we'll do it like that. So yes, as I say, don't quite know. If we want to go out tonight, but who cares? We're going to have a bit of a pamper. So, what was I saying before I went off on a complete tangent? Completely lost my train of thought, my lovelies. Completely lost my train of thought. What I will do, though, is show you, as I say, just got a few bits off of ASOS in the sale. So, I thought, you know, your girl loves a sale. Why not? The first thing I got, Mama G was very jealous because she was like, I want one. I've got a little Care Bear tie-dye top. How cute is this? I think it was like 10 or £12 in the sale. I was just like, <laughs> absolutely love it. Oh, and my dressing gowns come undone. What is it? I've got you squeezed and turned around as tightly as it can be. And you're still trying to expose me here. Right, let's try and do a double knot can't be exposing myself on the internet i mean well look at me like the way i am right now let's just um pull you up just a tad just in case all right so yeah mama g was like i want this i was like i did check it wasn't in her size so it's by the brand daisy street that's the uh brand of it my lovelies but i just loved it i thought you know me i love a bit of color i'm not frightened to uh have a little bit and look like a bit of a paintball do i i did pick up because, as I say, I am hopefully trying to join a gym mid-January. I've cancelled my gym membership, which expires in March. So I thought I need to uh, bring one and try and get back into it. So I bought these shorts from Vans. I got them in a size medium. Right, I think that was like £20 down to 8 That's simply just plain basic cycling shorts with Vans at the bottom. But they are still a tad see-through. Like, they probably don't look it much on camera, but when you've got them, like, hoisted up, they are still. So, that was highly annoying, but I thought what I'll do is I'll just have, say, like, my um, wraparound jacket, and I'll just wrap it around the bottom to try and, like, cover the bum. But absolute staple. You know me, spring and summer, that's all I live in. I absolutely love cycle shorts. Can't be wearing skirts because I get chub rub. Yep, chub rub is not great. So cycling shorts is all about life. And then I picked up a little two-piece. I think this was £12. And it was supposed to be like 30, 40 quid. And it's an Elise or Elise set. So it's a cropped jumper. I got this in a size 10, tops and bottoms. So it's just a simple white cropped Elise jumper. And then you get the matching Elise cycling shorts that have where does it say Elise? would help if i showed you the right way my lovelies Elise on the bottom now i love the vibe of cycling shorts and like crop jumpers crop t-shirts everything like that so when i saw that i was like oh and this actually fits really really nicely i done a quick try on yesterday just when they came because like have to make sure that it fits otherwise 
gonna uh, be having a disaster, ain't I, if it don't fit. And oh my God, I just remember what I was talking about, home bargains. So yes, I've bought four tree bags. Look, it just come back to me like that. I bought four tree bags, probably not gonna use them all, use them all. Probably not gonna use them all, but you can take them back within 30 days. So I said, I'd rather buy enough and then if i don't use them all i can take it back so the plan is to have the main tree because the main tree is in three big parts and at the minute we have them in like giant uh black bags but don't really want to have it in black bags all the time so i thought the only thing is though the bottom bit is so bulbous i don't know if it's actually going to fit in a tree bag but if not i've got the new tree in here that needs to go in a bag and then we can just work it i think the tree bags are also really handy to put like the door decorations and some of like the odd little bits and bobs what i did buy they were 3.99 each i bought four premium ornament storage boxes four they were 12.99 each so a little bit hefty to my uh, bank balance let's just say but I think they're a really good investment piece. So it is a storage bag, but it's three tiers of 24. So you get 72 baubles per little box. And then there's bits down the side to put like, say, candy canes or stars in. And then I think there's a zip. So mum was like, why on earth are you buying four? Like we probably need about 10. But I said, it would only be for like the really nice ones, like the nice garden center and the glass ones. So I said, hopefully, they should be here within a week or so so by the time we start taking it down like say mid-jan we should have everything here so it can all go back and be organized i said because the only thing is we have boxes upon boxes but sometimes i think that it could be a lot more like space saving for a box so instead of having like a huge box of baubles we can put them in these little containers and i said they'd be something that like obviously i would take with me when i moved away so i didn't mind paying out if they're going to last i am probably going to kick myself and think i should have got a lot more because obviously hopefully i've got a lot more christmases ahead of me so of course there's going to be plenty more baubles to be bought so and then i got oh managed to get two packs of face wipes so i don't quite know depending if they've arrived in time for when i film my haul they will be included if not i might just include them in a vlog or include them in say february's home bargains and just be like remember what i picked up at christmas they are here but yeah i was absolutely amazed that home bargains is online but as i say it's more bulk so like 24 packs of porridge 24 sachets of rice everything like that so it's good if you want to get like a big bulk out very very good indeed but for me i was just looking for like the storage bits and bobs but oh god that's been dropping as we speak i ain't even noticed oh these do actually feel really nice what is the brand of these face facts targets dark circles with chamomile and ginseng extracts four pairs do not ingest didn't plan to darling store in a cool dry place i tell you what i am on the hunt for next year so if you saw my christmas vlog or the one i got for christmas you would seen that i got a planet revolution pink bin you're probably thinking what but one half is recyclable and one half is waste but i think i'm going to use it more for just like my skincare bits and toiletries and i really 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 want a skincare fridge so i think when i blitz all the room for the new year i'm going to try and like figure out a place to put this fridge i've seen a few styles that i like and fingers crossed if i've got room in here for it to fit i will be having it in here i just don't think i've got room for it it depends how big it is because there's two sizes i think there's like a four liter and an eight liter but not too sure what i want yet but yeah i think how cool would it be to like have everything in a little fridge so i have been sitting here rabbiting it for quite a while looking at this i've got another 10 15 minutes of my eye patches so once these are done i will come back and we can do a little bit more skincare and have our skin nice and glowy for our hello 2022 video and then we can go and give the blender a little try i'm very excited for that right my lovelies my skin is feeling very lovely so 
I'm just going to have three products because I say I don't want to dust my skin too much because one of them is a new product and I would hate to have a flare up on New Year's Eve and then not be able to wear any steps. So first thing is first, I'm going to do some lip exfoliation. We all know Lush Golden Pineapple because my lips, I keep biting them in the night. Oh, golden Pineapple, absolutely love it. And as I say, if you want perfect lip liner, lipstick, everything like that, nice glossy lip, got to have soft lips. So tilt the help back. Mm. Oh, all gets stuck under your nail. It's quite sticky as well. And then just wipe clean. Oh, the only thing I haven't got is my lip balm. I'll have to put lip balm on at the end. So, lips are scrubbed to perfection. I'm just going to go in with a little pat of toner, as I say, because we've done the exfoliation. So, the exfoliations took all the dead skin off. Just going to use my aloe toner as i say because it's calming and don't quite know how the moisturizer is gonna work with it so i don't really want to flare up the skin too much prior but let me know as i say what's your new year's eve plans are you gonna have a nice pamper if you had any new skincare at christmas let me know any products you'd recommend any companies you'd recommend oh and also if you have the skincare bible book I definitely think I'm going to try and invest in that in the new year because I want to actually know what I'm doing when I put this on my face instead of just like winging it, I take it. But yeah, a little bit of toner just to get... Oh, actually, it didn't have anything on and add makeup on for a little bit. So we've got that and then let this air dry. The only new product that I'm actually going to try is the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturiser. Cute little bottle, right? It says, apply every morning to cleanse skin. If contact with eyes occur, rinse thoroughly. Do not eat. Oh, Brandon's calling me. One sec. Sorry about that, my lovelies. We had a proper little nightmare with FaceTime. Weren't working at all. So, yeah, the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturiser. I'm really excited to try this. Comes out, look, it's like in a little, um, reminds me of school when we used to have the pipettes. Right, now, I don't want to squeeze. Oh! <gasps> Can you see that? Oh! Probably don't need a lot of this because... It does look very, very glowy. Where's my mirror? Oh, I'm so unprepared, isn't I, my lovelies? Could we be cheeky? I know I'm not using the cleansing balm, but... Ah! The perks of having the balm and mirror on the lid. Oh, right. Smell-wise, it smells very, very fresh. And that is actually, you know what it reminds me of? Remember my um, NYX Illuminating Primer? Reminds me very much of that, like the consistency, the finish, which I've almost run out of. Well, practically I have run out of it, but I've still kept the bottle because I really want to like try and get another one. Don't know if I can though. Oh, shall we put a tad more on? My skin looks very red. It's not red in person. I think I'm just getting a bit flushed. Let's just put a tad more on. You can see my hands, like the glow and the shine. Just a tiny bit. Maybe just more for like my cheeks. Ah! You know? So you could actually use this as kind of like, I know it is a moisturiser, but you could even use this as a highlighter, I would say. This is so nice. I'd say uh, quite a bit more expensive than the NYX one, but... Oh! I like that. I really do like that. Where's my tea towel? Let's give the hands an old wipe. I really like that. Oh! I love trying new skincare, my lovelies. Absolutely love it oh gold look at me cute thumbnail <laughs> my 
My skin, wow. That is glowy. So, what we need to do now, let's pop all this away. And then let's go to the kitchen and make our first smoothie in the little portable smoothie Nutribullet thing. So excited. <laughs> And then, oh my god, turn the cup upside down or tilt to separate the fruit from the blade. Click the switch and then put the cup upright and shake left to right. After 40 seconds, you should have juice. So. <gasps> dripping it everywhere. Mayday! Mayday! No way! Oh my god! I'm definitely going to eat healthy if it's this fun. Right, I need a glass. Let's see how much this can hold. What are we going to do it in? Don't really want to do an alcohol. I haven't really got a smoothie glass. All of my glasses and I haven't got a smoothie one. Um, can't put it in a gin glass, can we? I'm going to have to get a nice little glass now. Shall we have it in... We'll put it in a fever tree one, we shall see. Right. As I say, I didn't stick completely to the measurements, so... So there's still like a little bit of fruit pieces in there. So I think you can maybe like re-blend it. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so, so happy. The only thing is, how do you clean it? Because you can't put that in the bottom. So I think you unscrew this and then clean the blade because it did come with some little things. Oh, let me get my straw, let me get my straw. Oh my God, I cannot wait. I'm gonna do mum one when she gets back. Right, should we have a first taste? Definitely could have done with some sugar. And maybe pulse it after I put the ice in because there is still a little bit of ice chunks. Right, I can't go and put something clean on yet because I ain't done my hair, have I? Great, so let's have a look. Let's put this in. I had a right palaver with this on Christmas Day because I was like, I couldn't turn the thing. And I was turning the whole base, and it's not, it's just the top. Oh, now she says it as it won't go in. Let's have a look. There we go. So, I'm just going to watch a quick tutorial on how to do this. And then we shall see how it goes. I'm going to time lapse this so that you don't have to sit watching me waffle on and then I'm just going to watch a little bit of YouTube in the background too. So let's see how we go shall we? Ow! Oh my god I've burnt myself already! Am I doing this the wrong way? Ow! Oh my god, that was hot. I, I literally had nothing. Oh. I had... Ow. I don't know how long you're supposed to leave it on there for. 
when it tells you that it's done. Oh, this is going to be a disaster right now. How long would you leave it on there? I was going to watch a tutorial and then I got sidetracked. Maybe we should watch the tutorial. And try not to burn ourselves. So mine hasn't worked like that ladies as well. Ay ay ay. The sections of the hair no wider than the length of the barrel, which I didn't. I kind of did it about just Oh! Okay, it's not gone too bad. I oh don't say that's marked me. I burnt, you would have heard me. Ow. Right. Oh actually. That has worked on that bit, hasn't it? Let's see now if it's going to do it for the top bit. But that is very, very hot. Very hot indeed. I'm scared. Ah! See hers, she's getting like an instant wave as soon as she moves it. Mine didn't seem to do that, but mine seems to be like coming towards the end. I don't know. Is it once it's all fully clamped, then you see the wave? This is why I never style my hair, but I do want to start learning to style my hair. I have also put on heat protector spray before anyone comes for me. Let's have a look. Where was it? Where was it? There. I put on my VO5. It does smell like, though, it is like singeing hair so yes i might give it another little spritz when it's done because i think i might have to go over it a few times who says that uh doing hair is easy eh oh it seems to be a bit more curly now oh i really don't want that to mark me So I'm going to go and do this off camera because I think I'm going to get very flustered. I need to try and focus on the ladies' tutorial. But that's what we've got. I don't know if it's so much a mermaid wave. Let me do it and then I'll be right back, all right? Right. <laughs> I did burn myself. And can you see that? Lovely little mark on my skin there, isn't there? Um, I don't think it's come out how it should have done but it's only my first attempt and it is of a wave kind of like when mama g plaited it but when mama g plaits it it goes a bit more you know so i think for our first attempt i'm going to give it like a seven out of ten because i think it is probably like my cack handedness and the fact that i've burnt myself that i haven't done it properly but i mean it does look like it's got a little bit of volume from the side it is hard to do near the scalp bit obviously because it is so so hot i have no idea how hot it was but as i say literally that just singed it for a second and i've just been dousing it in savlon ever since so probably not the big curls that i thought i was gonna get but it's not a curler it's a waver that's what i've got to remember and it'll do as I say, until I get used to it, we can see how it goes. So now is, it's a little bit later, it is 10 to 2. So I'm going to film my Hello 2022. I don't quite know what to put on. I want to be very neutral because I think we've got wavy hair. We've got the fresh skincare. So I might even just put on my new dressing gown. Might just do that. And then I can get that uploading exported. And then I might do a little bit of editing on Vlogmas. And then decide if we're going to the party tonight or not. Who knows? But yeah, my neck is sore and hopefully I'll get a little bit better at the wave, all right? Right. It is a little later. It is four o'clock. I've just filmed and edited my Hello 2022. Oh, sorry, there are a lot of wires here. A lot of stuff is charging. Um, Still don't know what we're doing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> to be perfectly honest, still don't know if we're going to go to Brandon's friend's party or just stay in or don't know what I could be bothered with, to be honest. Uh, I think what I am going to do, though, <sighs> is finish off Vlogmas here because there's probably not much going to be going on. I mean, 
if I'm going out, I'm just going to be putting jeans and a top on. Bit of makeup that you've seen me do countless amount of times. But yes, I think that is going to round out our vlogmas. Five weeks gone like that and tomorrow is a new year. Ay, ay, ay. Where has the time gone? Where has the time gone, my lovelies? I think this vlogmas has been better than last year. We've not had too many meltdowns, had we? We've not had too many breakdowns or blips. We've had a few, but not too much. We've done what we could and we've had our fun. We've gone to the Christmas markets. We've done the Ideal Home Show. We had a great Christmas. There's been plenty of food, plenty of babies, plenty of cakes, just plenty of all the good stuff. But now a new year dawns upon us and time to get our little tush into gear. I would like to say thank you to everyone who has stuck with me through Vlogmas and also for the daily uploads because when you're watching this, my lovelies, this will be the end of our 44 upload streak. You have had 44 videos back to back. My goodness, you are probably well and truly sick of my face right now, ain't you? You're probably thinking, get off my screen. I'll be glad when you go back to three uploads a week. But as I say, thank you for everyone who has supported, commented, watched all of the videos throughout the Christmas period. As I say, we started from the second from last Saturday in November. We had all of whole week and then it's just been daily uploads for Vlogmas and Christmas content and everything like that. So as I say, I'm going to give myself a little pat on the back for that. I set myself a big challenge and the challenge that sometimes it did feel a little bit daunting, but your girl done it. So as I say, yes, big love and hugs to all of you for watching. I mean, the first Vlogmas was like, what was it? Almost two and a half hours. <laughs> you have had so many hours of me. Actually, how many hours have you had? Oh my god, let's work this shizzle out. Let's work out how many hours you have had of me in these past 44 days. Let's have a look. Let's go back to the start. Where are we? Whole week, whole week, where are you? Seventy hours of me. Ah! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious me, you are going to be well and truly needing your break from Shannon. I think the Shannon fix has well and truly gone over and a lot of the videos were close enough to an hour or over an hour. So thank you for sticking around for the long ones. And as I say, I do hope you all had a lovely Christmas, whether you was with family isolating, if you was isolating, a big hug and love to you. You can celebrate when you can come out. Have a good old knees up when you come out and all the best for 2022 for you my lovelies. So it's going to be the last time I say I see you tomorrow for a brand new video because we ain't going to be doing that until next Christmas. And you know what the scary thing is, my lovelies? That's not going to be far. This year has gone like in the blink of an eye. So I dread to think how quick this year is going to go. I don't want it. I don't want to wish my life away, but um, I don't know. We just have got to be stay positive, eh? So as I say, I do hope you've enjoyed the final Vlogmas, my lovelies. And if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What was your favourite part from this Vlogmas? Or just out of all the 44 uploads, what was your best video out of that time? What was your funniest? What do you think? Yeah, that was a good one. And any that you want me to carry over and continue a tradition for next year, just let me know, all right? So take care. Stay safe as always. And I'll see you very soon. For a new video and as I say happy new year to one and all and all the best all right bye guys